They're teeny tiny, come in a rainbow of colors and patterns, and are all the rage for kid and tween jewelry accessories. In this video, we are guiding you through crafting with Hishi beads. Hishi beads are typically made of vinyl. Vinyl is a durable material ideal for making jewelry or high wear accessories. Made into small disc shapes, Hishi beads are easy to arrange into patterns and color blocking, and they give the most beautiful detailed look to your crafted projects. So how do you work with these teeny tiny beads? There are two simple ways to string your Hishi beads. You can string them one at a time. You may have a pattern or design in mind that you're looking to make, and stringing your beads one at a time gives you a very custom look. Stringing beads one at a time does require patience, but if you enjoy detailed, precise work, this is for you. Our box kits are perfect for this type of stringing. We recommend you use a tweezer to help pick up your beads if you have long nails. You can also use our favorite technique and bead in sections. By purchasing our Hishi bead strands, you can use the pre-strung bead strings to your advantage. Unloop one end of clear string on your Hishi strand, leaving enough string that your beads won't fall off right away, and use our Kara & Co beading needles to string sections at a time. When you have the correct amount of beads on your needle, simply slide them off your Hishi strand and pull them onto your string. When making your Hishi jewelry or accessories, the string or cording you choose to work with is important. We offer three types of string to make crafting even easier. 0.8 millimeter nylon cording. This extra thin nylon cording is perfect for multi-purpose crafting. It's the same material as our regular nylon cording, but is the exact right size for Hishi and acrylic beads. This string is a petite 0.8 millimeter thickness and can even be fused like our regular nylon cord with a lighter. When making knots with nylon, simply double knot your cord. For extra security, you can fuse this cord with a lighter, similar to how you would fuse the thicker size. But be careful, this thinner size melts quickly. 0.8 millimeter elastic cording. This extra thin elastic cording makes bracelets and jewelry making a breeze. It's the same material as the larger 1.5 millimeter elastic cording but easily fits our Hishi and acrylic beads. Elastic cording is also easy to knot. Simply double the knot, pulling evenly on all four strands. Crystal cording. If you're looking for a simple cord that doesn't fray, crystal cording is for you. It's easy to string and works well for crafting bracelets and necklaces. Crystal cording can be a touch trickier to knot. We recommend making a tight double knot and securing it with a dot of super glue. We hope you have found this how-to video helpful. Hishi beads open up a world of crafting possibilities. From kids to tweens to adults, Hishi beads are the beading craft that everyone loves, and we can see why. From jewelry to bracelets to accessories, the possibilities are endless. Plus, we've made crafting with Hishi even easier. We've expanded our DIY craft kits to include brand new Hishi craft kits. Choose from boxed kits with loose supplies, or curated DIY kits with instructions. Head over to karasupply.com to pick yours out. And let's get crafting. If you love this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this from Kara & Co. Happy crafting.